Hey little eagles, it's Mrs. Mallory again. Thanks for checking out our Maple Ridge YouTube channel. You guys are awesome. So today I have a video for pre-K writing. So if you have a pre-K packet, you can look in your packet at the writing section and this video should be able to help you out. So the first thing that I'm going to do is share you guys over. to my document account so you can see what I'm doing on there. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna head over to my document camera so that I can work in front of it for you guys and I'll be back to the video screen in a second. So if you look up here, we have a smiley face. These are our handwriting without tears mats that we use for pre-K centers when we're working on writing. So you always, always, always start at the smiley face because when we form our letters, we always start at the Top, you got it, we start at the top. So I wanted to go over some of the materials that we use during the center time and see if you can remember them. First one is a big curve. We have a big line, a little line, and a little curve. So we use these lines and these curves to form letters. So some letters use big lines, some use big curves, some use a combination. So I'm gonna model how to build some of these letters like we do at centers. First letter I wanna build for you is an uppercase C. So uppercase C uses one big curve. Awesome. Next one that I want to show you is the very first letter that we learned in pre-K, letter L. Letter L needs one big line and one little line. And that'll give you L lamp O. And the last letter that I wanted to build for you guys is your favorite letter, letter X. And for X, we use two big lines, and that makes letter X. The next thing that I want to model for you guys is going to be pencil grip. So I know that at the beginning of the year, we talked about ways that you should and shouldn't hold your pencil. So I'm going to model that also on the dot cam. Okay, little eagle. So here is my pencil as if I were going to be writing. You are going to use your thumb and your pointer finger to pinch your pencil. You're always going to pinch your pencil. So when you're holding it, it should look like this. Your thumb and your pointer finger pinch it. You rest on your other fingers and then the end of your pencil kind of rests back on your hand. Okay, we're not doing any fist holds or some crazy two finger holds because when you're writing, you're trying to hold it with a fist. You don't have a lot of control. You can't write very neatly. So we're always going to pinch. So at the beginning of the year, I know that we practice pinching our pencils and picking them up. So you're gonna get your pincher fingers ready, your thumb and your pointer finger. You're gonna pinch that pencil and then you're gonna flip it so that you're ready to write. And I'll demonstrate that again and I'll go a little bit slower. You're gonna get your thumb and your pointer finger ready. You're not pinching your brother or your sister or your mom. You're pinching your pencil, okay? So you're gonna pinch it and then you flip it so that you are ready to write. Awesome job. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're gonna look at the lines on our handwriting paper. And there are three types of lines when we're using our handwriting paper. So I want you to close your eyes. I want you to think. Think, think, think if you can remember what we call those three lines, okay? And I'm gonna get a piece of our handwriting paper out. Okay, little eagles. Now, see if you are right and if you could remember what we call those three lines. I'm gonna draw you a little picture. Okay, so up here at this red line, 
We call that the headline. That is the headline. And this is our little friend, Fred. I hope you remember that that is Fred. And we call that the headline because that is Fred's head. Okay, and the next line, see if that'll focus a little better. There we go. We call this the waistline. That is right at Fred's waist, like his belly, the waistline. And then this last line at the bottom, we call it the foot line because that is where Fred's feet are. So we're going to review some letters that kind of Touch the headline, the foot line, the waistline. So we're gonna start with some lowercase letters. A, C, E, I, M, N, O, R, S, U, V, W, X, and Z. Now all those letters, all those lowercase letters that I just wrote, all touch the waistline. They only go up to the waistline, Fred's waistline, okay? Then the next letters we're gonna go over are the taller letters, and those go up to Fred's headline. So we have B, D, F, H, K, L, and T. And if you notice, all of those touch that top line, which we call the headline. They're tall. And then the last group of letters that we're going to go over are your favorite. I know when we do morning message or when we're writing, you love these letters. So we have G, J, P, Q, and Y. And those letters even go down past the foot line. And we like to say that those go down in the basement. Every time we do morning message, you would say, Mrs. Mowry, those are going down to the basement because they are curling past Fred's foot line and they go below. So we're gonna review one more time. We have Headline, waistline, and footline. And these would be examples of the waistline, the headline, and then letters that even go below Fred's footline down to the basement, little eagles. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing my document cam so that I can come back to talk to you. Thanks for checking out these videos on the Maple Ridge YouTube channel. We miss you so much, Little Eagles. It's so different not being able to see you face to face, but I know we'll get to you sometime soon. So if you need anything, you can always reach out to me on Zoom or Remind, and I hope to talk to you guys soon. See ya.